Those forms of first aid with a new twist. It will likely save more lives than CPR and the Heimlich maneuver. And according to the doctors you will hear from in a moment, you need one. And it may someday save your life. Straight from the battlefields in Iraq and Afghanistan to the streets of Cincinnati. Soon every Cincinnati police officer will carry one thanks to UC Medical Center. When we sent our soldiers into battle in Iraq and Afghanistan, they went with first aid technology older than the Civil War. In 2005, that changed to a new type of tourniquet that has reduced battlefield deaths by more than 30%. In fact, this tourniquet was called the Combat Application Tourniquet because it was given to everyone in, in combat. The person who applies the tourniquet to the casually initially is the one who saves their life. And if they have to wait for a medic person to get there or get to a hospital, it's going to be too late. UC doctors Edward Otten, Brian Gavitt, and Jay Johannigman are bringing this battle-tested device to our streets to save lives. Tourniquets sound almost too simple to change lives, too to the degree of CPR, but that's exactly what's happening. This belongs in the hands of our police and fire and, and civilians, just like an AED. Automatic external defibrillators are saving countless lives all across the country now. But a short time ago, you couldn't find one. The doctors say tourniquets will soon be hanging right next to them. Terrorist attacks like the Boston Marathon are real now in our country. The ambulances and the medics don't come in there until the police have cleared the scene. So the people who save lives are individuals who have the ability to control bleeding right away on the scene when the incident happens. It's the single most common preventable cause of death on the battlefield and at home. Well, the key to using a tourniquet within minutes of when it's needed, that's what you have to do. And that's why you have to have one close by. They're designed to put on uh, by yourself, if you were to be injured in your arm, sure. Cam, you can put it on with your other arm. Okay. And it's simple. It takes less than 30 seconds. You slip it over above the wound and closest to your heart, pull it as tight as you can, and then the Velcro catches. Oh, nice. And you see this twist? Yes. You twist this three times, which okay. I won't do because it'll be too tight for yeah. me. And then you stick it under here. Gotcha. And that is how you keep it uh, safe. That is and great. And it's going to lock there. And the concern was, and we were taught for years, remember, that you couldn't put a tourniquet on unless it was the worst case scenario right. because you may hurt the limb. Exactly. The doctors told me that you can leave this on for two hours wow. with no harm now. That's awesome. And you know what I was thinking, another application is for people who do a lot of hiking or camping, yeah. backpacking, you know, there's always the danger of falling, you know, breaking something, cutting yourself. You could take that and do it all by yourself. You know? Absolutely. Yeah. Or you go through the plate glass window, or the kids go through right. something like that, or the coffee table. Sure. It just, it just is so simple, but it works. Yeah, great idea. That's I great. think it's, it is too. So if you want to learn more about it, we have more information available to you, how and where to use one and buy one. There are instructions there. We have a link at local12.com. You go to the Get It button, and it'll take you where you need to be. All right. Time to